Good morning, everybody. Thanks for visiting today. Uh, welcome to Mill Gap Farms. Uh, we've got a project, we've got a couple projects actually going on today. One is fixing the trencher. The other one is finding out what went wrong with the Kubota mower. mower. So stick around and uh, we'll show you what's going on. Here is our ZD-1211 60-inch mower. And we've got a problem today um, here in this spot right here. If you look down in there, that's the gearbox for the deck. And it seems that either the, hopefully the gears inside are not damaged, but it, it may be just a shear pin. So we're gonna take this thing apart <clears throat> and find out what's going on. All right guys, what we're doing now is we're pulling the deck out from under the machine. Not exactly sure how. It is on wheels. Oh boy, that thing's heavy. All right. All right. Okay, check this out guys. <clears throat> This, this is getting a little hateful, I'll say that. Um, we're gonna get all of our screws together, our nuts rather, and put them in our little magnetic case. And we're gonna try to figure this thing out. But honestly, I'm not sure why it's not coming off.
hey guys, our pulley puller wasn't working right. It was just these little arms are too short. So we need to extend the arms. We got a piece of angle with some holes in it. And we're going to set it up so that it'll work for us. Hey guys, I'm, I'm now thinking the problem was my compressor. A pancake compressor will not operate. A uh, pancake compressor will not operate an impact range. I hope and pray I don't have to cut this thing off. Something just popped. <laughs> Guys, looks like, can't tell you for sure. These might be two separate pieces, but they could be one piece too. We don't know. Um, we do know that that should be round, and it's not. We also know that that guy had gotten heated up and stuck right there on that shaft. So by heating up this part, not that part, we were able to expand this metal and it popped off. Now that doesn't mean that this part didn't get heated a little bit too. It did, and that's why we cooled it down with our, our PB blaster. Not the best solution, but definitely want to get it cooled down a little bit. So now, we're going to take a couple pictures of this thing. Try to figure out. That looks like a bearing. 